Hey, this is Adam with Tech AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to do the epic announcer voice today. Going to talk about what it takes to get, to get that recording and to do it in Vegas and to lower that voice and to make it sound all epic and stuff. And there's a few things to do with it, so let's get started. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. First off, we need to record, and to record in Vegas, you can go to any track. It doesn't have to be the any audio track. It doesn't have to be the audio music track. You can even make a new tr audio track if you want to to do this in. But first off, go to your hamburger menu and the track you want to do it with, and then go to Arm for Record and hit OK. Now it's going to record and show the recording from your default mic. Now, the recording from your default mic might be a little too loud or it might be a little too soft. If you look at the room noise here, let's stop. See, that room noise is a little loud. The room noise is just kind of, it's just recording the air. So we're gonna try and lower that. To do that, you can go to your window settings. You go to your audio mixer, and then you go to your system sounds. You can go to your recording, and you can see which microphone you're using. Make sure you have your default microphone selected that you want to use. We're gonna right click and hit, uh, sorry, double click it, and then go to levels, and we can change the levels. So if I lower the levels, now you can see it's barely capturing the room noise which is much more ideal, and uh, we're gonna start with that here. So also, you wanna get closer to your microphone because that actually increases the bassy sound of your voice. So when you get closer to your microphone, you have to be careful that you can make a p -p 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 plosive sounds to it, and you can actually make it peak and pop out. See that, that red there? That means it peaked, that it got distorted. So I'm actually facing away from my mic just a little bit, so that way my air explosions aren't happening directly on it. But uh, it, it gets a much bassier sound when you're closer. So we're looking for that bassier sound. Next, uh, you also want to talk in a lower voice. So don't talk in a stupid low voice like or anything like that. You need to talk in a voice that's like as low as your voice kind of naturally goes. And when you talk in this lower, more natural voice, uh, you kind of get that, uh, that vocal rasp, right? That's what you want, is that kind of low, your vocal cords are loose and moving. So if your vocal cords are loose and moving, then you're ready to go. Go ahead and hit this either Control-R or this button right here to record. In a world. Nope. Delete. He didn't know. This would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, so now we got our audio, and let's uh, kind of clip it to get the, what we need here. He didn't know. He didn't. He didn't. Okay, if you can't see your audio, you can hit shift and up to see your waveforms a little better. He didn't know. I'm going to clip it right here, and world. Okay, and that's world. I always give your audio some room to bleed out on its own naturally. So now we've got the epic voice, and we need to kind of do a few more things to make it sound more announcery and epic -y. So first, you hit your hamburger menu, go to track effect. Then you need to go to track compressor here on your effect chain and go to 2.1 compression. Uh, if you have a more specific compression you need to do, do it. If you are confused about what compressors are, I have a whole tutorial about that. This isn't it. So uh, I'll link that tutorial above. Uh, for right now, we're just going to go with the basic compressor. What this does in a nutshell is it makes my louder sounds a little softer, my softer sounds a little louder, it gets everything a little more uniform in sound, which is something that you're going to expect from professional audio. So it's something that you're going to expect from a voiceover. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, we're going to make it a little louder in just a second, too. Uh, also, we're going to go to, but first, let's right-click the audio, and we're going to go to Apply Non-Real-Time Event. You can also do a, a real-time audio event, but uh, we're going to do a non-real-time event. And go ahead and do the pitch shift and hit Add and OK. What a non-real-time does is we're actually going to render this out when we're done. We're going to hit Play. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. Okay, so it's going to play that over and over again as I mess with it. So first off, we had to need to hit Preserve Duration, uh, and that's because as we change the wavelengths, it's actually going to change the amount of time it takes for it to happen. So we don't just want to slow it down. We want to make it lower and not slow it down. So that's how we're going to do it is hit Preserve Duration. We're also going to need to change it to a speech profile. I'm going to go with Speech 2, but something, a speech profile is, means that it, it's going to try and keep it natural sounding for a voice as opposed to a violin or piano or anything else you could be messing with. So uh, also 
also, this is where we're going to have our big sounds. This will make it really low, really fast. This is makes it like a fine tuner. It makes it a little lower, a little higher, very, very gently. So let's listen to it and get started. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, we're gonna hit okay with that and then it's gonna pop up a render box menu. So here we're gonna go with wave because waves are compressionless and we're gonna go with 48,000 Hertz. Make sure your window settings are set to record in 48,000 Hertz. Otherwise you're gonna get a lesser recording. This used to be kind of the gold standard. 48,000 Hertz is now kind of the gold standard of just generally good audio. Uh, audio files will go with something much, much, much more, but this is gonna be strong enough for what you're doing. So 48,000 Hertz stereo, wave, and render. And then boom, it's going to render it and replace it down here on your track. And it's gonna go ahead and apply the other effects we did to the audio track as well. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, so and a couple things we can do here is go to the track effect and the track EQ. We're going to do a roll off, get rid of some of those higher sounds. That's that's well, roll off there. Oh, this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. And we're also going to kind of bump the bass up just a little bit. Time he would ever see his precious little world. This would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. And a bit of audio grading, I kind of know that my mic doesn't like this this little spectrum here, so I'm going to drop that down. Last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, so you shouldn't have too much of a difference from this. Really just that bass bump there, just a little bit of bass bump. Your voice is kind of in this frequency area here, so you kind of just want to hit that just a touch. Last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, so now we got a nice, bassy, boomy voice. Not Morgan Freeman, but it was free. So uh, it would cost a lot of money to hire Morgan Freeman. So uh, the next thing we need to do is just add some epic music and like a generic like zoom into the world shot. So here we go. Let's do that. For the music, I'm just going to add a track compressor on this too real fast. Lower the volume down a ton. And then start it a little sooner. Start from the beginning. He didn't know this would be the last time he would ever see his precious little world. All right, that's how to make an epic announcer voice for uh, in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more. If you're new to the Vegas platform, I've got all sorts of tutorials here for you, but I've also got a Udemy course you would like to see as well. So check that out. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.